Hey guys, this is Andy and Eric from Mobile Must Have, and in this video we're going to talk about the pointing X-Pole antenna. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. So the X-Pole directional 2x2 MIMO antenna um, is kind of a really nice blend of size and performance uh, versus, you know, if you go with some of the larger, we, we have some 4x4 uh, MIMO antennas like the Panorama that are just massive. Oh, so, yeah. um, this antenna got very popular with uh, Chad from Changing Lanes did a video for us on how he was able to use a directional antenna to really improve the performance when he was out on the fringe. Now, like we've said with our directional antenna overview videos, um, the vast majority of our customers are going to be using our bundled roof antennas, omnidirectional, right on the roof, set it and forget it yep. for 90 plus percent of the time, probably 99% of the time. But if you find yourself in a situation where you're, you know, really needing a little bit extra speed or you just are so far out there that the omnidirectional antenna is not cutting it, the uh, the X-Pole is a, a great contender. Give you a little bit more of a boost. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we do recommend you look at the model that is the US version. And if you look at the SKU, it'll end in dash 11. We see some of our competitors are selling the dash 01, uh, which is a fine antenna, but they're basically the same price point. And if you get the dash 11 US version, you're gonna get that 600 megahertz support for the T-Mobile rural bands. So with the 5G, with the 5G, so yeah. you're getting kind of the best of, of all yeah. worlds with that. They really built it just for our market when T-Mobile announced they were going to be using 600 megahertz. So that is a great uh, antenna for directional use. Uh, now, one thing to keep in mind with this is this is a two by two antenna. So um, depending on which router you are going to get, if you're looking at like a PepWave, Cat18, a lot of the, all the 5G ones, they are going to be more of a 4x4 MIMO, and this is a 2x2. Two two. Um, so this is a great add-on if you're doing something like an MK2, which is a Category 6, a single Category 12 modem, this works great on. Uh, but if you're doing something like the Transit Duo that's got two Category 12s, you have four cell signals, and this one only has two. It's so not, you're either going to need two of them, yeah. uh, or you may want to look at a different a, option. A four by four option, which yeah. we have. Yeah, so we, 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 I would say just look up the Akita antenna from Parsec, which is an omnidirectional. We actually have it here. We're not covering it in this video, but it is an option if you need that four by four capability. I'll link the video up there to that one. Um, but yeah, so it is a great, it's a great option, but it does, depending on the router you've got, there might be a better option for you. So kind of think through that too. Performance wise, this thing and price wise, it's, it's a screamer. It, it does really well from a performance perspective and it comes in at a really nice and effective price. It point. comes with wall mounts and the pole mounts and every all the hardware you need to mount it to the pole. It comes with 15 feet of cable. Um, so really everything you need is included. Now remember guys, this is a directional antenna, so you have to point it at the cell tower. You can't just fire this up on a pole and, you know, email us and go, why doesn't this work? <laughs> <laughs> if you want to do that, go with the Akita. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'll talk. Omnidirectional is better if you just want to throw it up on a pole and not worry about pointing. Um, but pointing the pointing, that's probably where they got their name from, right? Um, can be done with some applications like Cell Mapper and others. Yeah. Um, and we definitely recommend you check out the Mobile Internet Resource Center at rvmobileinternet.com. Uh, if you're looking at directional antennas, they've got content about how to point antennas. They've got videos, um, data resources, forums, all kinds of a stuff. million different things. If you're yeah. looking to really dial that in for a rural home application, or if you just want to get really fast speeds in your RV and don't mind pointing. Yeah. So, all right, guys, if you have any questions about this antenna, uh, feel free to chat with us on our website uh, or reach out to us directly via email at info at mobilemusthave.com. Um, and between now and then, we hope to see you on the road. Thanks, guys.